good. This is the last uh, part of evaluating functions. So it's good, to, good that you're here. Now let's say we have the function g, where x is the variable, and it is 3x squared minus 5x plus 7. I'm just making it up on the spot. Okay. Now they want me to evaluate it, not for a particular uh, value, eh, not for 5 or 6, but for, let's do x plus 4. So I have to substitute x plus 4 in my function for x. Yeah? Now, let's do that. I've shown you in the previous video what that exactly means. So rather than x here, I write down x plus 4 squared minus 5 times x then becomes minus 5 times x plus 4. And let's leave that in brackets now. Do not expand that already. Yeah, write down this step. Okay. Now, we're not going to leave it like that. Yeah, we have to simplify that. And before I can simplify, I have to expand my brackets. Now, I want you to have a good look at this first part. Because some of you are going to say, and I'll just, I'll just quickly grab a new piece of paper. Yeah, so if I have 3x plus 4 squared, some of you are going to say, oh, that is x squared plus 16. And that is wrong. That is wrong, it's a classic mistake. So do not be one of those students who makes that mistake. Because what does x plus four square means? It means x plus four times itself. So times x plus four. All right, now let's finish the function. I'll expand that quickly to save some, um, some space. Minus five times x is minus five x. And it's minus five times 4, which is minus 20, okay? So it's minus 5 times 4, and then we still have a plus 7 there, okay? Now, I'm going to move my equal sign a little bit to this side, because I need the space. x plus 4 times x plus 4, yeah, do we remember how to do that? Let's put that 3 there and some big brackets. x plus 4 times x plus 4, yeah? so you do x times x, which is x squared, yeah, you call it the FOIL method, I believe. Yeah, but you just have to multiply each term here by each term there. So x times 4, which is 4x. I'm going to remember that. I'm a little bit lazy. 4x, 4 times x is also a positive 4x. So I'm going to get 8x there in the middle. Do we see that? So x times x is x squared. 4x plus 4x, that's 8x. Yeah, and eventually you still have to do four times four, which indeed is 16, okay? So, x plus four squared is x squared plus eight x plus 16, and it is not x squared plus 16, yeah? So please, realize that, okay? Now we finished writing the rest of the function minus five x, and let's simplify that, minus 20 plus seven, um, which is minus 13. Okay, because I still have to expand, I have to do 3 now times every term inside those brackets. So 3 times x squared, 3 times 8x, and 3 times 16. So that is 3x squared plus 24x, 3 times 16 is 84, yeah, minus 5x, minus 13. Okay? Still not finished, yeah? I have to simplify, I have to combine the like terms. Well, I only have one term with an x squared, so I can already start by saying 3x squared. And then I have 24x minus 5x, yeah? The sign belongs to that term, yeah? So it's not 24x plus 5x, no, it is a negative 5x. So 24x minus 5x, those are 19x's, okay, and I have 48 minus 13, which is a positive 35. Okay, so this one involved a little bit more work uh, than if you would just have substituted, let's say, the number 2 for x, yeah? So now we have to substitute x plus 4, but if we do that calmly, and if we have confidence in our own abilities, there really shouldn't be a problem. Eh? This is basic algebra, okay? 
thing you have to realize at the classic mistake that x plus 4 squared means x plus 4 times itself. Okay, so first you have to expand those brackets yeah, by using the FOIL method, yeah, and then you multiply that by 3 yeah, because it's 3 times x squared. Okay, and there on the second part, let's say, of your function, you um, you expand those first brackets, yeah, you combine the like terms and you simplify it 3x squared plus 19x plus 35. All right. Now, if you have questions about this or a particular problem, let me know. Send me a message. I can make a video doing it for you yeah, and explaining it for you. Yeah? Really, no worries for that. Okay? Or you can check my website, www.mathswithmrmerrill.com. Okay, I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.